Hey guys and welcome back and we're going to be showing you how to do the lightsaber effect on um, Motion 5 on the Mac computer. So um, that's going to be pretty cool. Now um, you're just going to have to uh, put your footage right in here and then you're going to click blah 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 and you're going to put it right um, in this area box uh, right there. So you're just going to drop and then it's going to end up right here. So this is basically the pretty much maybe the timeline. Um, so basically, to do the lightsaber effect, uh, in the clip you'll need maybe a stick or you can just have your uh, hands uh, put in two fists and then connect it together like as shown right here. Now you can do that or you can do a stick. I'd say for beginners use a stick uh, and still have the same motion, uh, the same hand uh, thing uh, right here. But uh, you'll see why you might need a stick. Uh, I didn't really feel like getting a stick, so anyways, um, I didn't get a stick, so I just kind of did it like this. It's a little harder, but it's still doable. Uh, now this just a background of this effect. It's a little, not uh, very hard, but it will take some patience, but you guys should be able to pull it off maybe in half an hour. just depends how familiar you are to um, uh, Motion 5. So anyways, let's get on with the lightsaber. Uh, we're going to go to library and we're going to go to shapes. Now it has all these shapes here but we're going to look for a neon rectangle and we're going to click there alright so it has kind of like a blue neon rectangle. Uh, now you're going to take that and you're going to drag it um, somewhere here. Uh, it doesn't really matter uh, at first but um, so you can just play the clip alright. So we, we don't really have our hands up yet, so around this point, we have our hands pretty settled there. So we're going to move this all the way where this um, kind of is. So now we're going to take the blade. First of all, we're going to shorten it a little bit just to start. And we're going to move it. All right. So um, there we go. Um... Yeah, we'll just leave it like that and we'll make it a little uh, thinner here so uh, what you're going to do you don't double click uh, I'm just so used to that just click on the neon rectangle here and just uh, click on this and it's going to make it a little thinner now uh, let's say you want to change the color wait sorry hold on let's just move this up a little more all right so that's pretty even. It's a little blurry. I don't know why, but um, and a bite, and it might be a little choppy. But uh, if you go to share and you click save, it saves. It's gonna look pretty nice. It's not gonna look uh choppy anymore. Anyway, so you're gonna go um to inspector, and you're going to go to huh, hold on. Uh, you're actually going to go to shape and you're going to click the neon rectangle first and then you're going to click shapes and then it's going to bring you to this so now it's going to um you can play around with this you can have how much ever white showing you like and um let's say you want to change the color so uh, let's click here and let's do some kind of green lightsaber like this one all right or we can just go to the crayon box we'll find this cool uh, lime one. Now it looks kind of like some uh, weird colored one, maybe like a popsicle. Anyway, so you're just going to do the same thing. And you're going to click here and go and find the same one, which is spring. So now we have some cool little Jedi looking, um, uh, some cool little Jedi looking, you know, lightsaber. Now I'm gonna show you kind of the gist of it, and um, so let's kind of get right into it. So we're just gonna click out, and so now we have our lightsaber here. Uh, we're going to click this uh, button here. All right, it says record. Click that, and now what you're going to do, you're you're going to click this. Now uh, we're going to click this button, which is going to go to the next frame. So you click that and it seems like I go up. So I'm just going to move up uh, with it. Now next one, it doesn't do anything. Next one, I move a little more up. So you move a little up. Now, um, so pretty much you have to do that 
don't, you know, if you don't have a lot of uh, downtime, I wouldn't really suggest doing this effect. And if you're not very patient, try a little later. See if you're more willing to do this. So you're just going to keep um, moving um, the lightsaber here. All right. So you see my hand keeps moving up. And so will the lightsaber. And if you don't want any of this kind of like technical stuff looking here, you're just going to click out and then it's not going to show uh, anymore. Uh, so, all right. So, um, so then if you do want to see that stuff, then click back and continue. So uh, you're going to click the next frame. See, it says uh, next frame there. And then you're going to adjust it to how it is. Sometimes you won't really have to adjust it, but um, maybe you will have to. Uh, just depending if your character, or well, I mean, if you move or whoever moves. Um, you know, you just have to follow with that. So um, uh, let's just try to do this quickly here. And as you, as your uh, character, as you start to turn, now you're going to click this cir um, little uh, circular button here and, and you're going to move the lightsaber. All right? So it's going to tilt it to whatever way you want it to tilt. Now don't worry about these little things. It's just showing the direction you're going in. All right? So you're going to click next frame and then you're going to move it all up. All right? So you could be here for quite a while, but um, uh, as I said again, it's it's a lot of patience. But um, don't get discouraged. This is taking you forever. Just make a shorter clip for the first one, about maybe five seconds, and then if you do like it, then make another one, um, having it be a little longer. So mine was like 36 seconds. About, I'm, I'm not quite sure, but um, yeah, you're just going to have to deal with it for a while. Um, so you're going to click next, so see, that looks pretty good. Um, so we're going to keep clicking, alright. So um, click adjust, but uh, if you really want to become some kind of filmmaker, I'd like to become one. Uh, I think it's... This all, the, all this stuff is really cool. So, um, you know, if, if this is what you want to do, then I'd suggest to um, stick with it. And uh, it's going to be pretty cool looking. So, let's see here. If, if I can find a way how to fast forward, like some of this stuff, uh, I'll try to. Uh, okay. Okay, um, so basically, uh, now, for example, if you want the late, uh, blade, the blade to be a little longer, then you're gonna have to click here and you're gonna have to drag it a bit. Um, because now, um, because at some point some of the stuff might be out of the frame. So, um, just get it long. If you want it to be long, uh, just customize the size by um, doing this arrow part here. And um, let's see, I've, I've gone pretty f decently far. Um, but uh, I will post a video uh, to uh, something easier, which is still very cool, uh, very basic. Um, this would be maybe intermediate, I'm not quite sure. Uh, you'd be the um, one to rank it. Um, because my opinion is probably different from yours, but anyway, um, so let's just click out of here. Um, that's, that's pretty much it, but then I'd have to continue, uh, later I'll probably put another link here showing you, um, the final product. So once again, um, thank you for watching, uh, if you have any questions, please comment down below, and, uh, I'll try to answer them. Thank you.